she told me to pull my penis like back to where I was laying because I was laying flat. So pull my penis back and then that towel to cover my penis and you know obviously around my area so only my testicles can be expo exposed and my scrotum as well. What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back into another video and welcome to Friday video. Um, typically, I'm gonna try to be dropping a video every Friday or every other Friday, uh, just depending you know, on things that are, what, what things are going on and stuff. But in today's topic, we're gonna be discussing my experience with scrotal ultrasound. Um, the reason I needed to have the, the ultrasound was because I started having pain and a little, and more actually, more than pain, it was just a lot of spasms uh right in my lower abdomen area uh where it's right below your belly button now originally i thought that i was having bladder spasms but i talked to the doctor and the urologist and um she she told me that it couldn't be the case because uh there's no nerves in your bladder i believe right or something like that where like you know you, you really can't your bl your bladder can't be um how do i say this just, you know, causing spasms. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Well, I didn't know that. So I think what might have been spasming was, you know, the area uh, around, I guess the muscles around my bladder, maybe even around my, my prostate, right? Uh, so as many of you guys know, I suffer from uh, bacterial prostatitis and I've talked about that in several of my videos uh, and my whole experience with it. So now is, I feel like this is kind of like a new symptom uh, that was that, that I was starting to have uh, and you know it was it just felt like um, more discomfort than the the actual pain um, and one of the symptoms that I was having that you know was a little bit concerning was the fact that I was feeling some some sort of pain radiating into my testicle especially my left side um, and it was like right where I don't know what it, what do you call them the right where your, your testicles meet the um, this little tube right I guess where the you know um, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't know exactly I don't know the anatomy you know I suffer from all this but I know exactly the anatomy but it was like right behind the the egg right uh, the testicle I should say it was like right behind that little spot. It felt like it was just like some pain was radiating there and I was actually uh, hurting. Um, now the pain was not constant. It would uh, come and go. But it, it felt, you know, it, it just felt, first of all, uh, like some of the symptoms that I had when I, you know, my prostatitis was really bad and it felt a little concerning. So I brought that to the to the urologist. Uh, and when I went to talk to, to my urologist, uh, I told her about that and she checked my testicles um, and she told me that the left side she felt like there was a little uh, it was it was you know something was a little bit too big right and maybe even a little bit of flame that area that I'm trying to talk to you guys about right she said that it was a little bit like you know like something you know could be inflamed or uh, it's a little bit too big it wasn't normal I guess a normal size so she felt that so therefore she decided to for did she decide she wanted me to get uh an ultrasound she she checked everything else everything else looked good um but just that part that's the reason i had to get the the ultrasound uh now let's talk about the experience in the ultrasound so uh when i went there um I, I you know i'm very comfortable with my body regardless of what happens but i'm going to talk to you about the process of um of, of of the testing right so when you get into the room uh and this is the reason i'm going into details for you you know for a lot of you men uh to to feel comfortable uh, with uh, the whole process you know not to be nervous and actually you know get checked right uh i know it's it's it for us men it's hard for us to to accept that sometimes we have issues sometimes we have problems and especially uh you know sometimes some of us may get nervous around lady doctors or lady professionals but you know they're they're full bomb professionals and you have to trust them and you have to trust the process. So uh, when I went into the room, 
uh, she told me to take my 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 clothes off um, and then to pull she gave me this towel and I, I and I was supposed to pull I want to say pull but she told me to how do I say this uh, without sounding kind of weird but she told me to pull my penis like back to where I was laying because I was laying flat so pull my penis back and then that towel to cover my penis and you know obviously around my area so only my testicles can be expo exposed and my scrotum as well uh so when she came back into the room and i was ready uh you know i was set up that way and um uh, she told me to close my legs um and obviously only my testicles were were, were showing and she put some towels around my testicles uh, I believe the towels around the testicles. Uh, personally, I think it's because so when she ever she's checking with the with with the um, with the little uh, machine or whatever with you know ultrasound machine. Um, so you know their testicles don't go all over the place. You know what I mean? Like it won't. It will just stay in one spot, and then she'll be able to maneuver her way around what's going on. Um, so the the testing lasted for uh, I would say about maybe 20 minutes, maybe a little bit over 20 minutes. Uh, she she told me that uh, personally, she likes to take a lot of pictures. So whenever, or if, you know, doctors or urologists want to uh, get more pictures, uh, she can just send them right to them. I don't have to go back and do it again. And I was like, I really appreciated that because it will just save us a lot of time and she can just send pictures right away. Um, so I, was, I thought that's pretty cool. Uh, she also uh, told me that at the beginning that at least from the right testicle that everything looked you know pretty well uh, according to her it was looking good obviously she can't give me official official results uh, that'll have to be I have to talk to the doctor and uh, the urologist and I have the appointment on August the second um, and then when she when I told her about the pain that I was having and where I was having it you know she was moving around her way around the testicle and whenever I felt like she was around that area i was like yeah this is where i felt the pain and she was like all right i got you this is what you know i'm gonna look so she was very interested in finding or at least seeing where i was feeling the pain and to me that's so important because you know i want them to you know take a really good look at what's causing me pain or what's hurting me what's bothering me whatever the, the situation is right um and at some point during the test i remember i was actually kind of falling asleep i, I kid you not I think I'm very, I don't know if it's my uh, my gift of just being vulnerable and, you know, uh, and just accepting the fact that, you you know, you have to get things done, but, uh, or is it just over time that I've been getting checked so much uh, for, you know, a lot of part of my bodies for, you know, for the, for the last part, the better half of the decade. So um, I was falling asleep and, and to be, I started like dreaming a little bit while I was getting the ultrasound on my penis. Uh, I, I, I was tired, you know, I was letting her do her job and do her thing. And uh, she was taking care of me uh, and I trusted that. So I hope a lot of you men can just get very comfortable um, and, you know, just be secure with your body and just keep in mind that, you know, these are some test things that, you know, that, that I was uh, on my end was, you know, it was recommended and if you, if you get the same thing as well, if a doctor recommends you to do something, then, you know, consider it and then, you know, try to go for it. Uh, issues, especially when it comes to a men's part. And uh, for me, they're important, you know, and for a lot of us, they're important as well. So we have to take care of, of the Jones, you know, we have to take of the, of, of, of the jewels and make sure everything is working. Everything is, is going just fine. So, um, uh, after, you know, she checked, um, the, my left side of the testicle, uh, she kept doing like a little bit more images, but you know, by that time, but the taste was basically the, the, the taste, the test was basically done and everything was, um, everything was, was, was good to go. She told me to, you know, clean up and change and leave the towels there and then head out. And I was on my way. Uh, it was a pretty straightforward test. You know, you got down, uh, straight to business and, uh, again, a lot, a lot of those people, you know, they go through that very often uh, so um it's, it's it's something you can feel very comfortable with y you know i do want to add something uh that I, I have stated in this channel a lot and this is uh for a, lot, for a lot of us men that a lot of us struggle sharing our experiences with uh prostatitis and, and all that stuff and i went to the urologist um for these that appointment that i was telling you about 
And during that appointment, there were two older men, uh, you know, over their 70s. Some, I think one of them was in his 80s, but uh, I think both of them had prostate cancer. And, uh, you know, I started listening to their conversation. I'm not a nosy person, but when they started talking about that, I was like, man, you know, I want to hear what they have to say about their experience. So when they were talking about it, I started, I, I jumped in and, into the conversation. I was like, hey, you know, I'm very young, but I want to know more about what your symptoms were, what you went through. How did you get diagnosed with with um, with your prostate issues and, and things like that? Because I want to be more aware. And obviously, I want to I want to bring that to you guys as well. But one thing they did tell me was uh, the same thing that I always tell you guys that and that, that a lot of men can agree that he one of them was like, hey, we as men need to be more open about the situation. We as men need to be more vulnerable. We need to speak out. We need to talk. We need to talk to doctors, our family members about uh, our issues, especially when it, you know, it, it concerns our you know, our penis, our testicles, our prostate, you know, bladder, you know, all of that. And I could not agree more uh, with that advice. It felt like, it feels like I've, I've something that I've expressed as in my channel a lot. And, and uh, I want to spread that to every man out there, you know, that, uh, you know, these men with, you know, so much wisdom in their life and so many years lived, right, that, the one thing they could tell me was, you know, make sure that, you know, you talk about it. And I encourage you guys here in this channel, not just to talk about it with me and the community, but also with your family members. If you're going through something, speak up and, and talk to your family um, because a person that loves you is not going to judge you. But if anything, they're going to understand you and they're going to be thankful for the fact that you opened up and that you're sharing these experiences with. Right. To some men, it might come easier than others, but the whole point is that you know, you find someone and you find people. Uh, and if, you know, if it's the community, my community and, 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 you know, it's all, it's all you have to share with us, you know, it's a blessing to have you guys here, but I did want to share that with you because, uh, I think, you know, the, the men that were talking there with, you know, impacted me and it gave me, uh, they gave me a lot of, uh, advice and they also talked to me about, you know, if everything, you know, becomes, seems to be pretty bad, just, just slow down and, and just know that everything is gonna be okay. So I wanna take that uh, to the bank and um, just wanna share that little quick story with you guys. So it kind of affected me and touched me a little bit. So if you have any questions about my prostate, if you want, if you have any, uh, if you wanna watch more videos of my prostate, I have a whole playlist on my channel that you can check out uh, with everything on it. And also, hey man, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, like the video, share them. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you guys that show love. Uh, so take care guys. God bless you guys and see you guys in the next one. Peace and love, baby.